Okay, everybody, welcome back to Columbus Zoo Day Part 2. Here we are looking at our famous bald eagles on display here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. You see we got a nesting pair. Actually seeing a great increase in the bald eagles we are seeing here in the state of Ohio. Lots and lots of not bald eagles. Now here we are at the Manatee Exhibit. This is in the area now called the Shores and Aquarium Exhibits. And um, got quite a few manatees. You can see it's an amazing exhibit. It's literally a cutaway of a Florida mangrove. We've got it complete with big disc fish, as you can see there. It's really amazing. We also have some, I'm pretty sure there's some stingrays in there with those manatees. Now, something to point out about the manatee exhibit here at the Columbus Zoo is it is part of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Rescue and Rehabilitation Program. And you will find that all the manatees in this exhibit are on loan from Florida. And these are manatees that are in various stages of rehabilitation. Uh, meaning they've been hit by speedboats, uh, they've been washed up on shore from, say, a storm or hurricane, sea surge. Yep, there you go. There's your stingray. Pretty amazing exhibit. He's just gliding along there, just minding his own business. But uh, will the, the manatees come and go when they get to a various stage of rehabilitation? They do truck them and ship them back down to the Everglades. And... Um, there's typically anywhere from two to five manatees in the exhibit, depending on how many are in that program. Now, a nice tip for if you would like to come over and see the manatee exhibit and the aquarium exhibit, you will want to get there early. So if you're coming to the zoo as a first time visitor, never been there before, this is one of the exhibits you will want to get over quickly to see early in your day. If you get here right at opening, right at 10 a.m. get right over here because you will see that the area to watch the manatees and the turtles and the stingrays can get crowded really quick and if people keep standing by the glass observ observing area you're just not going to see much and that's uh, again another pet peeve of mine is to put in some stadium seating on the opposite side of the aquarium where folks can come and sit and watch if they really want to observe the animals for a longer period of time. Otherwise you're at the at the basically the graces of the fellow visitors if they're going to congregate in front of the glass and not move along you will not be able to see much. Here we go we got some penguins. As you can see right outside of the manatee exhibit they're pretty cool. They're right across from the manatee exhibit. And uh, this is one of my daughter's favorite exhibits to look at. They're really funny. They're You can, again, sit and watch them for hours if the zoo isn't crowded. But if it is crowded, uh, keep moving along, folks, because everybody else wants to see them too. Right? There's our trusty zookeepers scrubbing and cleaning up any of the penguin poo. Now here's a big attraction my wife always loves, and we typically always ride it when we go to the zoo. It's not much, it's between two and four dollars to ride this. It is an original carousel, and they are the real wood, classic wooden carousel. I don't think we rode it that day. And making our way over towards the kangaroo enclosure. This is called the kangaroo walkabout. It's on up from the manatee exhibit in the aquarium area, right past the carousel. This is a very unique exhibit. This is an area where you actually enter in through a series of gates, two gates, and you come in, you can literally walk around with the kangaroos. There is a qualified zookeeper in the enclosure. But you can walk around and they can we've had them walk right in front of us right by us um, it's really really neat so definitely check out 
the kangaroo walkabout. The other nice thing about this area by the kangaroos is once you leave the enclosure right around the corner, you will see koalas. We have several koalas here at the Columbus Zoo, and you will find them right over by the kangaroos. is he's munching on some grass and this is right up around the corner and this was a limited time to see this and this was the t-rex and other dinosaurs there's a little boat ride over in this area it's kind of fun uh, it's not super expensive I think it's about a dollar to ride it's not super expensive you do have to purchase tickets to ride this boat ride oh there's one of our favorites the monkeys You can see they have their own little island and they'll climb back and forth on that rope and they go up and down and they hang out on their little personal little island unless they want to go inside where you see where they have an enclosure they can go into. They are super funny and super fun to watch. But you'll see here we'll film some of the boat going by when the boat does come go and go by. A uh, great ride for little kids and I, as I said this was a limited time I think it was just for this season. There's the boat in the background there. Where they had dinosaurs stationed around and they would spray water on you and growl. Now here's our famous orangutans. Orangutans. They've got a beautiful enclosure. Just recently was redone and revamped here at the Columbus Zoo. They are usually out. Most of the time we go, they are out. Uh, we also have in this area a lowland gorilla. All right. For those of you that like the gorillas, typically the gorillas are out. There are times when you can come to the zoo that they will not be out in the outside enclosure area. So definitely head over to this area. This is also up and around the corner from the boat ride. In fact, when you're over in this area, you can see the boat ride going by. See, he's having himself a little snack there. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I really like their orangutans. They are really fun to watch. Um, they're really funny characters. And there we go. He's wondering, what are all you people doing looking at me? Go away! Can I have any privacy? And you can see there's several layers to go down, and then there's basically like a moat area. Just make sure you keep your little kids from climbing too close to the fences and climbing over like what happened recently with the gorilla shooting. Unfortunately, that gorilla was put down because a little child climbed into an enclosure. You know, that's why we have parents, folks. You can see it's an amazing enclosure. Now here's a, one of the shots of the dinosaurs, and these are the Velociraptors, and they will actually spray water on you. It was funny, we were standing here watching this boat go by, and the little kid started crying because he was getting sprayed with water. Come on! Folks, let's get our kids to just toughen up just a little bit. It's only water. It'll dry. Here they come. Oh, there he is. There you see the little kid in the blue. There he is. He's going to cry. Oh, I don't like it, Mommy. Uh. And there goes the boat. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Kids have always loved that. When the when our kids were little, we would definitely always hit that. We'd always hit the train ride. We'd always do the boat ride. And again, there it's about a dollar per person to ride. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree. It should be included with your zoo admission. I've, I've always said that whenever I whipped out my wallet and paid for that ticket. I always thought, this should be included. I mean, you're gonna pinch me for a dollar, really? 
There's one of the cranes. And this is getting over towards the Asia quest, the famous Asia quest. On top of the heart of Africa, this is my next favorite exhibit. It's got a beautiful waterfall entry area. We got these beautiful Asian cranes. And Asia Quest has a lot to see over there, folks. You definitely want to hit Asia Quest. Here we are going up into the Asia Quest enclosure area. And the outside monkey pit area, which is always fun. The gibbons, the gibbons monkeys. You can see it's really cool. They've got some really cool Asian music playing as you walk in. They've got little statues of creatures and leopards and cats. As you will see, we will have some beautiful leopards to see. We will have some fox bats, the hanging bats, the famous large hanging bats. They are here. My wife is one of that's one of her favorite things to see. You see, it's a really cool exhibit. Lots of interesting facts about the animals, the enclosures, and the different regions of Asia Quest. There's Asia. And we'll come around the corner here and we'll actually get to see some animals. Pretty sure that was a film we watched that day. Um, it was about poaching and the, all the horrible things that go on with poachers that kill endangered animals just for the sake of their hides and sometimes their body parts that are used in Asian medicinal uh, uses. This is a cool little exhibit I've always loved being a train enthusiast. It is a nice little N scale train layout. go now here are the leopards mm -mm. beautiful cats you can see they have an indoor and outdoor enclosure and it must have been a little hot that day he didn't want to go outside he's being kind of lazy he wants to stay inside where the shade is now here in a little bit we'll come around the corner and we'll actually get to see the famous Bengal Tigers that the Columbus Zoo has they are always Amazing to see. Yeah, what a beautiful animal. Look at him. They're just chilling. You can see though that the cats pant when they're hot. So it apparently was a hotter day, probably I would say in the 80s that day. And here in central Ohio, be prepared if you're not from this area, it can get really humid. So be prepared, don't wear too much. And drink lots of fluids, kids. There's one of the dragons. And they also have a huge boa constrictor. I don't know that we got him on camera that day. And now this is the famous hanging bats. Fox bats to be exact. And there they are. It's like Count Dracula. You can see them, they'll climb around on the enclosure, the top of the enclosure, and they will sometimes, very rare occasions, you'll actually see them fly from spot to spot, but that's pretty rare.
And here we are over here with the Gibbons monkeys. Again, one of my favorite things to watch are the monkeys, but then again, uh, there's no place to sit in here. If you're not moving along, there's really no stadium style seating. And I'll say it again, how nice would it be to have a pl place to sit and really observe the animals for a longer period of time because their mannerisms and things are actually really funny to watch. Um, but there's a whole family in here. You got little babies and mommies and daddies and they'll sit and they'll groom each other. Sometimes they'll do naughty things. But I will warn you, it does really smell in this area. Really reminiscent of cat. Alright, now we're back out into another enclosure. This is the famous rhinoceros exhibit that has been at the zoo since I was a kid and I was always fascinated with these creatures. They just seem really intimidating and scary. And there's one of our... He's in the koala family. I'm honestly stretching to find uh, the name for this critter, but he spends most of his time sleeping just like the koala bears. But he is over in the Asia Quest area. This is just right down past the rhino exhibit. So lots to see, lots to see, folks. Now, these should be the famous Bengal tiger. Oh, there he is, sitting up on his perch. He is magnificent. Look at the size of those paws. It's a great exhibit too. They've really got it set up nice for them. Some fun facts back behind us there about the Bengal tiger. They are the uh, cr creature in India that kills the most people every year in the wild. A lot to see to do at the Columbus Zoo, folks. Definitely make your way there and definitely make sure you get there early. All right, thanks, everybody. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.